five minute focus episode 138 working multiple stories what i'm talking about is working on simultaneously how many stories do you write at once and when i talk about knowing yourself can you do this do you have the mindset for this and i'm not talking about the ability to think of multiple stories at the same time. That's not it at all. It's the ability to write multiple stories at the same time. Don't get yourself caught up in squirrel and you have all these unfinished started stories that are great because you can't sell an unfinished story. So do you have the mindset to complete those stories once you start them? So this is working multiple stories. I do, but I devote 90% of my time to one book. But as I have ideas, I'll dive back and forth to other stories that I have started, but that's just a little bit of outline, some plot points. I'll, I'll uh, come up with a particularly keen sense of dialogue and I'll type that scene in real quick and then, and then go back to my primary. 90% has to get that primary uh, story done. So jumping back and forth between stories or saying, oh, it's not exciting anymore. Stop it because you hit the midway point on most stories and, and people will bog down. Okay, we've had conflict, we've had resolution, now we got a bigger conflict, there's a lot of boring stuff's gonna happen. Oh, let me go write this exciting stuff. No squirrel, get, your, get yourself under control. <clears throat> uh, writing multiple stories also keeps you from running into walls. And this is an important tip for uh, when you bog down. You bog down, you can go work on something else, clear your mind and still be productive. This is, this is so important to be able to get words that matter, words that will make the final cut before you go back and say, okay, now I need, to, I need to power through this transition before the next fun scene to write. Now it takes practice to switch gears, but that's not, that's not any, any problem. You just, as you go back and forth, because you'll think of one thing, you'll be writing one story and a scene will pop up for a different one. And you, you, you keep going on the story and then it starts, I need to go do this and you get it down real quick. Because if you tell yourself, I'll, just, I'll remember that, let me do this one, you're not going to remember it. You're going to think, man, I had some cool, I had a cool scene, but I can't remember exactly how it went. Get it down, get it down fast and then get back. Don't worry about the grammar. Don't edit it. Just get it. And because you can, you can fix that later because the idea, ideas are volatile. They will leave you. Some of them, yeah, they're in there and they're in there forever, but other ones, no, they, they're cool. And then they go away and you're like, I forgot, oh man, it was so awesome. <clears throat> How many stories is too many? And this is when you feel like crying because you've got 10 different stories uh, that you've got the first chapter written and none of them have a second chapter and you feel like crying because you're getting nowhere. That's too many. So you're shooting for, for me, three. Three is good. One that I'm devoting 90% of my time to. Two and three that I have ideas for. Outside of that, I need to I need to stay focused. It's too easy to squirrel and disappear into the void of a new idea. Stay true. Keep your mind sharp. Keep focused on what you get, what you can get done. And this leads to the delivery schedule. Your delivery schedule is what you promised your readers. It's what you can publish. Uh, last fall, I worked on three stories simultaneously, all pretty much equally. Guess what I didn't publish for three months? A book, because my, my readers are expecting about a book every month, every six weeks. And I didn't have any because I, I'm, I'm plotting through. Now I published three books in three weeks because I finished them all about the same time. Yeah, don't do that what's your delivery schedule and work them until you get them done and then deliver you if you can work ahead that's great because i published three books in three weeks it was an awesome coup two months but i like i like uh, even keep things even keep things consistent keep your readers on board so that drives your production schedule your delivery schedule drives your production schedule so keep moving forward I devote the vast majority of my time to one book because that's how I can get through, get it done, and then go to the other ones. But if I'm having a hard time, I'll dive over, get those scenes down, get those neat neat ideas in there, and then go back to it later and say, oh man, look at all this stuff I've got already. Oh, hey, I started, I already have 2,500 words on this book. How cool is that? That's almost a short story. <clears throat> so you can't miss, hang on a second. This is where you have to know yourself don't don't let the squirrel take over you have to rein yourself back in from those good ideas plots new series bring it back 
focus on getting it done, delivering for your readers, table something for next year and in the interim, get, get your work done. You have to finish the book before you can sell it. You have to sell the book before you can afford to buy that next cover. So finish, sell, repeat, keep it going, keep that, keep that production line churning, but you still have your main product, devote the majority of your time to that main product and keep the other ones, uh, keep the other ones afloat because you don't want investors, your readers to lose interest and sell their stock. No, but you don't want anybody to sell their stock in you. All right, everybody, that's it. Multiple projects, know yourself. Don't squirrel. Yeah, that's it. Peace, fellow humans.